Hey everyone, this is Lisa from Life in Layouts, and today I have a Groundhog Day hop for you. And I'm going to say my favorite quote. Okay, campers, rise and shine, and don't forget your booties, because it's a cold one out there today. That movie was hilarious, but let's get into the layout that I'm going to be doing. This particular hop is a bunch of us who have been doing the exact same layout for the last couple of years. Back on that image that I just showed you, I did this layout from a sketch last year and the previous year. And today I'm going to be doing another one with these photos from my mom and I when we were on our cruise. They had like a little mini golf area. I picked up this photo play collection that's intended for like regular golf, but I made it work for my mini golf photos. Two years ago, I actually did a stretch the sketch. I wasn't a part of the hop then. I actually only did the hop last year. So two years ago, I did a stretch the sketch and I actually ended up posting that layout on the 2nd of February. Last year, when I found out about this hop, I was like, oh, I can just use that. Even though it's not for that particular hop, I can go ahead and do it. I will link both of those videos down below for you so that you can see kind of how I took inspiration and kind of got to where I am today. When I was looking through my photos, I knew that I needed at least three four by six in the landscape format. I really wanted to try out two four by sixes on the right hand side because the other two sketches, I just had that one photo and I thought it would look really nice with two photos. So when I found these photos, I was like, that's perfect. There's three photos for the left hand side where it's just us kind of actually doing the mini golf. And then there's two photos on the right hand side that's gonna be me and my mom. This particular stretch the sketch that I did two years ago, all I did was take that entire sketch and put it in the center of the layout and then add the photos on the left hand side of it. For the left hand side of the page, I have my four by six photos and then I have three inches of the paper. And then for my right hand side of the layout, I have nine inches of the paper. This time I used the yellow cardstock and I made that area much smaller than I did in the past two collections. So the yellow cardstock as well as the striped were a lot larger in the other ones. And I just wasn't really thinking. I really liked that paper at the top that looks like golf pants to me. Like that's what I consider that kind of pattern to be. I really wanted to really showcase that because I love that pattern and that's really kind of the only time that you can in my mind use that type of pattern for a particular layout. When I picked up this photo play collection I picked up the actual like collection kit that came with the element stickers and then I also picked up like the regular cardstock but I didn't realize it was cardstock. I think that photo play was trying to do something similar to like the petite prints that doodlebug does or like the solids that simple stories do, but it is actual cardstock and it's actually nice weight textured cardstock and I was really surprised by that. So over on the far right hand side, I do go ahead and use my border sticker of a bunch of little tees. And of course I had to cut it. I remember cutting it last year as well. <laughs> And I think the previous year, I ended up having to cut that strip because we never have our borders that are 12 by 12, which then calls for that particular cluster to go right there. When I was putting it down, I didn't pay attention to where it was placed before. I kind of wish I would have come down a little bit so that it was closer to that yellow and striped paper. But it ends up working out because I use a kind of a longer tag and I am able to pull it down a little bit because the piece that is cut is close to the top of that tag. And I love that tag that says, I love big putts and I cannot lie, which I think is hilarious. And then over on the far left-hand side, I have a tag that says, grip it and rip it. On the element sheet, it does have the word golf and it's like little tiny white golf balls on it. And it just got lost with the pattern paper. So I went ahead and just uh, made a banner with it. I used my banner punch to punch one side. I added the title, which is just going to be mini golf, and then added the other end of the banner after I got my title on there. And I do go ahead and put that flat to the layout. Then I decided to pull out my embellishment book and I just really looked for things that were in the aqua color, the navy, the yellow, and the red. And I'm just going to add those pieces to the different parts of the clusters. I have the cluster up at the far right with that I like big putts and I cannot lie tag. Got the cluster on the far left in the grip it and rip it tag. And then obviously the title cluster as well. 
So as I'm putting those clusters together, I do want to encourage you guys to go ahead and check out all of the uh, links below. I do have a playlist as well, and you can see how everyone else has been doing the exact same layout year after year after year. I mean, it's only been three years, but I think that this is a fun hop to be a part of because one, I love that movie. I think it's a hilarious movie. It's old school. It's definitely got its issues with lots of different things, but it's hilarious. Just the thought process of thinking about what would you do if you were stuck in one place and every day was exactly the same and nothing you did mattered. Um, really kind of brings in the concept of, you know, what would you do if that was happening to you? So I've kind of put most of my clusters down. I really just add to my clusters until I feel like there's enough stuff. And when you're working with your clusters, if you ever struggle with them, it's probably because you don't have enough stuff in your clusters. So just keep adding to them and then it will finally feel like you have accomplished a good cluster. Also remember, cut your pieces in half and um, add them to both, both sections of your clusters. I did that with a couple of different pieces. I think I did it with like a little puppy blue thing. And then I'm also gonna do it with a golf ball. I'm gonna add it to the two clusters on the left and right because I wanted to have that golf ball feel and I feel like I got that with my title uh, because it has the golf balls on the word golf. And then I added some twine to my tag up there and used some micro glue dots to just put right down on the paper and then I put my twine over that so that it kind of falls into place and the twine stays where it's supposed to stay. And then the last little piece that I'm gonna add is a golf club right next to the word golf in my mini golf title. So here is my final layout as well as some close-ups. And I think it's pretty awesome that I'm gonna have these layouts going forward every year. And I'm glad that I was able to participate in this hop along with everyone else. So go ahead and make sure that you check out everyone's layouts posted below. Thank you everyone who has gone back and watched some of my older videos. I really appreciate your support. I'm about a quarter of the way to where I need to be so that YouTube can see that I am a good content creator and promote some of my videos. So continue doing what you guys are doing. I really, really, truly appreciate the support. If you enjoyed this video, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. If you haven't done so already and you want to see more double page layout inspiration, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks everyone for watching and I hope that you have a scrappy day.